Joining us now, um, and a story that seems to have popped up out of nowhere, though we're told there's been years of consultation on this, a new tax, GST, is going to be levied on the management fees or the income from management fees for KiwiSaver. And given the number of people in KiwiSaver, that is going to be a significant sum of money. But I, like many others who have a KiwiSaver scheme, I have the horrible feeling that whoever is liable for this tax, I, as the KiwiSaver investor, will be the person who ends up paying it. And that is certainly the view, I think, of the National Party's finance spokesperson, Nicola Willis, who joins us now. Nicola, thank you uh, for coming on the platform. First up, were you aware that this new tax was coming? No, this has come completely out of the blue. And remember, we were promised by this government they wouldn't be introducing new taxes. You know, first, Sean, they came for your income. Then they went after your ute. Then they went after your rental property and they went after your petrol. Now they're coming for your retirement savings. And by their own regulatory impact statement, I've got it here, yep. they acknowledge this will wipe $103 billion from the value of New Zealanders retirement savings. So for an individual saver, and they go through the scenarios, it'll wipe thousands of dollars, between six and $25,000 off the value of the savings available to you in retirement. Okay, let's it's just clarify up, though. Yes. Yeah, let's just clarify. It means that GST will be levied on the management mm -hmm. fees that are charged by the companies that run the KiwiSaver funds, right? Yeah, that's right. And look, previously the case for many years has been uh, that a fee, uh, that GST isn't charged on those fees because it's viewed as a financial service and financial services have been exempt right. from GST. Now, the government went through some options for what they could do to clarify this area of the law and they were presented with a number of options. Uh, one of the options was just to keep the status quo, uh, which has been working just fine and to put that into law. They rejected that option, that would have come with no cost. Another option, Sean, was to make it consistent by removing the GST from all uh, KiwiSaver funds, that would have meant a reduction in tax to the tune of 20 million. So faced with a choice between reducing tax by 20 million and increasing it by 225 million each year, you know which one they chose. Uh, because you know, this is a government that is addicted to spending. Wherever they can seek more revenue, they do. Well, that aside, no one asked me, no one asked uh, any of us as far as I know. Given that you say this is wrong, are you going to give us a commitment as of right now that one of the first acts, if there were to be a change of government and you are the finance minister or national holds the treasury ben benches, that in, within your first 100 days you will <laughs> uh, excuse me, get rid of this tax? You have Nationals' solemn commitment that we will remove this tax, but what's more, we are going to campaign every day against it to try and stop this tax being introduced in the first place. If people want to join us in our fight to stop this tax, go on to the National Party website. We've already launched a petition to stop the KiwiSaver tax. Uh, and I can tell you, Sean, uh, it's already had more than 4,000 signatures, that petition, which we launched this morning. So I think New Zealanders will join us in this fight against the tax and we will be urging the Prime Minister and her ministers to drop the tax. All right. Was anyone asking for this tax? Was there any strange group of, I don't know, cost accountants or, you know, beam counters who said, really, really, we need to have this tax because it creates a, a huge injustice within our you know, within our uh, revenue system? No, no. Look, what, what's going on here is there are regularly discussions between the, the intelligent and well-intended people or boffins uh, at IRD uh, and people working on tax law. And there's been discussions for some months about how they could tidy up some inconsistencies uh, in this area of the law. What, 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 uh, the, that, that's what I want to ask. What's inconsistent? Mm -hmm about the current settings? Well, the feeling was that the practice that people were taking of not uh, paying GST on financial services provided through KiwiSaver tax 
uh, dealing that people wanted that clarified in law. They wanted declarations from IRD to be sure they were doing the right thing. So IRD embarked on this process. They worked through it. As I said, they came up with a number of options and ministers went for the new tax option. Now, the Financial Services Council, who re represent the KiwiSaver funds and financial service advisors, they were crystal clear. This is not the option you should take. That is the wrong way to go. We would prefer the status quo. Uh, but look, the government have just leapt to the high tax option uh, and imposed this new KiwiSaver tax. Yeah, and, and look, the thing is that we know that the personal provision or encourage or steering people towards making good provision for their retirement, given the inadequate level of national super, is really quite important. Um, and it is difficult to get people there. This would seem to me uh, to, if anything, uh, move those those encouragements in, the, in absolutely the wrong direction. Absolutely the wrong absolutely. direction. Absolutely. Yeah, look, and I've been contacted by people overnight who say to me, uh, look, I was already worried that the value of my KiwiSaver fund has gone down in recent times uh, with, uh, with the economy troubled as it is. And look, if I now know that the government is going to be reaching into my account and taxing it, then I'm pretty reluctant to keep those contributions up to KiwiSaver, actually. And I can understand people's anxiety. I think that people have a right to think that the taxation of their KiwiSaver account will be left as it is and that the government won't be reaching its hand into those savings. We want people saving for their retirement. We should encourage it. We shouldn't be taxing it. Nicola, I thank you uh, very much indeed for making yourself available at short notice this morning. I think this is a, one of those uh, political issues has me scratching my head. Why would you do this a, a year out from an election? And thank you also for the very clear assurance that National would reverse this decision, get rid of this tax, uh, were it to have the Treasury benches after the election uh, next year. Oh, one other question, Nicola. Uh, and you won't quite get this, but it's part of a wider discussion. Do you have a tattoo? I do. Oh, unbelievable. Can you tell us what it is? <laughs> Um, it's an Egyptian eye symbol that I got oh. in my first year at university, Sean. Do you regret it or, or, or not? It's part of your history. I don't regret it because it uh, marks a time in my life where I was exploring my independence and enjoying it. Uh, and I still remember the great thrill I had getting that to tattoo. I also remember my mother's dismay when she saw it uh, a few months later. Uh, and I appreciate um, that some people don't like tattoos, but look, it's part of me, it's part of my history, and um, uh, I, I'm not too bothered by it. I have to say, though, I, I don't see it every day. Um, and where is it? Any New Zealand uh, where is it? If it's not it's rude of me to ask, where is it? <laughs> it's on my lower back. Okay, I won't so, ask so you. No, so I don't think the voters will be seeing it anytime soon, Sean. But All right, it is. All right, because I got my first tattoo yesterday. Oh, what's yours of? Well, I, th we're running a couple people are having to guess. I'm not telling anyone yet. But a lot of people oh. think I got Jacinda. Above, it's above my heart. I'd be laughing a lot. Right. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering if it's the platform triangle somewhere. It's a true, true brand. <laughs> Paula Penfold thinks it's a swastika. Anyway, <laughs> hey, thank you very much. <laughs> very much for joining us and for being so honest about your tattoo. That's Nicola Willis. She is the... Uh, a uh, finance spokesperson for the National Party who would get rid of this new tax was buried in the Stuff newspaper. I would have thought it would have been a front page uh, lead for Stuff. Buried on page seven or eight or nine. I, I think people are going to get real upset about that. Why introduce a tax that no one was asking for? It just seems bean-counteringly stupid.